This tutorial will demonstrate how to access the content collection in Ultra Course View. When you delete something from your course, Blackboard keeps that information, but hides it from your view. If you're reaching the storage limit for your course, you might need to empty your recycle bin. Another reason to access the content collection is to delete duplicates, content that is no longer needed, and large files. Follow the following steps. When you first log into Blackboard, look at the left side of your navigation pane and go down to Tools. From there, we're going to click on this Content Collection area. Here, if we click on Course Content on the left-hand side, you'll see all of your courses that are available to you. Scroll down until you find the class that you're looking for. For this example, I'll be using TBU 2022. Here we can see that I've used up 306 megabytes. I want to delete some of that to create some more space in my course. To do that, I'm going to click on the largest file. In this case, this folder is called read only. It might be named something different for you. Here we can see two folders. I have two for this course, you might have more. I'm going to go ahead and sort it by largest to smallest again. And we can see that this content folder has most of the information for this course. I'm going to click on that. Again, we can look at our content here by size. We can see that this one folder here has 140 megabytes of information. This is clearly a folder that's going to be causing some issues with size. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. We can see here that this folder has a video and two pretty large PDFs, but the PDFs seem to be copies of each other. Now, I've already deleted this video from my course because I knew that it was too big. So what I did was I uploaded the video to Panopto and entered the Panopto link into my course. But it's still here. So this is a case of Blackboard keeping your files for you, even though you've deleted them from inside your course. So on the back end, what I'm going to need to do is click on this little chevron next to the title and click on recycle. I'm going to hit OK. And now that item has been moved to the recycle bin. Notice how it says it's been moved to the recycle bin. It has not officially been deleted yet. We'll get to that in a minute. Now in this folder, I have two more documents that are exactly the same. They must be duplicates. I must have accidentally entered them twice. So I know that one of these documents is used for an assignment in my course, but I'm not sure which one it is. So there's a neat little trick that you can use to look to see which one is actually in use and which one isn't. So I'm going to click on this options menu, the little chevron next to the title and click 360 view. Now this is going to open up a new tab. In this new tab, I can scroll down past the permission section and see links. This will tell me if the document is linked to any content in the Blackboard course shell. I can see that there's no links available here. So it's safe to assume that I can probably delete this, but I'm going to double check. From here, I'm going to click on the other document available, the copy. And I'm going to go to 360 degree view, scroll down to links, and see that this document is actually attached to an assignment in my course. So I don't want to delete this because that could mess up that assignment. So what I'm going to do is take the document that is not in use, click on the chevron again, and recycle. So I have deleted that duplicate PDF, and now there's only one there. After you've done this to some of your other files, if need be, we can go to the recycle bin. In the recycle bin, we can see all of the items that we've deleted. To permanently delete these items from our recycle bin, you're going to click on the square box next to the item you want to delete, or the square box at the top here to delete them all. 
we're going to hit delete, OK, and they should all be gone. If you have any videos or PowerPoint presentations with audio that you absolutely need to have available in your course, you can upload those videos straight to Panopto and just share the link with your class. By hosting the files in Panopto, you can save significant amount of space for other course materials. To find more about uploading existing videos into Panopto, please check out the Faculty Center website.